This demo is running on an off-the-shelf mid-range Consumer DirectX 9 card with no edits. These surfaces have per-pixel lighting, bump mapping, and specular reflections. We are also using a new virtual displacement mapping technique to give the illusion of surface depth as your perspective changes. This technique is also known as parallax mapping. Up here, these grates break up the volumetric lighting using a DirectX 9 only high dynamic range rendering. All world lighting in the engine is per pixel, dynamic, and real time. Here, you see our full scene shadowing and local lighting. Absolutely every object in the scene casts and receives smooth shadows. Our engine supports fully soft shadows on DirectX 9.1 hardware. We have a very powerful physics engine controlling every single world object. Hundreds of objects can interact in real time. The overhead light casts accurate shadows. This demonstration is indoors, but we can use and scale this effect to our massive game worlds, so outdoors we can have day and night cycles, huge, late, destructible cities, all with accurate lighting and shadowing. This light is swinging on a dynamic chain. As it swings around the room, you can see the shadows changing. We can even break it off the chain. Physics can be applied to arbitrarily complex systems. Here's an example of a gyroscope. and these picture frames are hinge constraints. Another feature of high dynamic range rendering is simulating the eye's response to different lighting conditions. This scene is quite dark, so the color hues shift to a slightly desaturated blue, which is how your eyes behave in low light levels. HDR also simulates overexposure, so transitioning quickly from dark to bright areas would cause your vision to become blurry and overbright. Here's some more examples of our physics engine demonstrating multi primitive objects. These gargoyle models were over 100,000 polygons. By using normal mapping, we can map this detail to much lower resolution meshes with no quality loss. These in-game meshes are under 10,000 polygons. The floors and windows in this scene are reflection mapped. You can see the individual rain particles falling on the trees outside. The lightning through the window casts dynamic projectors over the books. Each surface in the scene can have a different shader modeling its properties. These curtains and carpets have an anisotropic fabric shader simulating the way light reflects off fabric strands. The chandelier is also a dynamic per-pixel light 
that's using some rope physics to swing. Although this demo focuses on current generation graphics processors, we have an exciting project in development utilizing new technology only available on upcoming hardware.